Lesson 29. What happens when we die? Have you ever lost a loved one in death? At such a painful time, you may wonder, what happens when we die? Is there any hope that we will see our loved ones again? In this lesson and the next, consider the Bible's comforting answers. Point 1. What happens when we die? Jesus compared death to a deep sleep. A person in a deep sleep is not aware of what is happening around him. How is death similar to sleep? After someone dies, he does not feel pain. He does not feel lonely, no matter how much he loved his friends and family. The dead know nothing at all, says the Bible. Ecclesiastes 9.5 says, For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing at all, nor do they have any more reward, because all memory of them is forgotten. Point 2. How do we benefit from knowing the truth about death? Many people are afraid of death, and even of the dead. But you can be comforted by what the Bible says about death. As recorded at John 8.32, Jesus said, The truth will set you free. Contrary to what some religions claim, the Bible does not teach that a person has an immortal soul that lives on after death. Thus, no one suffers after death. Also, since the dead are not aware of anything, they cannot harm us. So there is no need to appease or worship the dead, and there is no need to say prayers for them. Some people say that they can communicate with the dead, but this is impossible. As we just learned, the dead know nothing at all. Those who think that they are communicating with dead loved ones may actually be communicating with demons who pretend to be people who have died. So knowing the truth about death protects us from the demons. Jehovah warns us about trying to communicate with the dead because he knows that contact with the demons will harm us. Deuteronomy 18, 10-12 says, There should not be found in you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, anyone who employs divination, anyone practicing magic, anyone who looks for omens, a sorcerer, anyone binding others with a spell, anyone who consults a spirit medium or a fortune teller, or anyone who inquires of the dead. For whoever does these things is detestable to Jehovah. And on account of these detestable practices, Jehovah your God is driving them away from before you. Dig deeper. Learn more about what the Bible teaches regarding death and strengthen your faith in a loving God who does not torment those who have died. Point 3. Learn the true condition of the dead. Around the world, people have different beliefs about what happens when we die. Of course, not all of those beliefs can be true. What beliefs about the condition of the dead are common in your area? To see what the Bible teaches, listen to the audio for the video what is the condition of the dead? Excerpt. To find all media for Lesson 29, go to the publication Enjoy Life Forever on jw.org. Nearly all religions teach that part of a person survives death. But what does the Bible teach? God created the first man, Adam, from the dust. He had the opportunity to live forever. But when he deliberately disobeyed God, he was told that he would return to the dust, ceasing to exist. What about others who died after Adam? When Jesus was told his friend Lazarus had died, Jesus did not say that Lazarus had gone to heaven. Rather, he said, Our friend has fallen asleep. What did he mean? Just as someone in a deep sleep is inactive and unaware of his surroundings, the dead are not conscious of anything at all. Ecclesiastes 3.20 says, 
all are going to the same place. They all come from the dust, and they all are returning to the dust. According to this verse, what happens when a person dies? Does any part of a person survive death? The Bible tells us about the death of Lazarus, a close friend of Jesus. Notice how Jesus referred to the condition of Lazarus as you read John 11, 11 through 14, which says, After he said these things, he added, Lazarus, our friend, has fallen asleep, but I am traveling there to awaken him. The disciples then said to him, Lord, if he is sleeping, he will get well. Jesus, however, had spoken about his death. But they imagined he was speaking about taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus said to them plainly, Lazarus has died. To what did Jesus compare death? What does this comparison tell us about the condition of the dead? Do you find the Bible's description of death to be reasonable? Point four. The truth about death benefits us. Knowing the truth about death frees us from fear of the dead. Ecclesiastes 9.10 says, Whatever your hand finds to do, do with all your might, for there is no work, nor planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where you are going. Can the dead harm us? Bible truth also protects us from the belief that the dead must be appeased or even worshipped. Isaiah 8.19 says, And if they say to you, Inquire of the spirit mediums or of the fortune tellers who chirp and mutter, is it not of their God that a people should inquire? Should they inquire of the dead in behalf of the living? Revelation 4.11 says, You are worthy, Jehovah, our God, to receive the glory and the honor and the power, because you created all things, and because of your will they came into existence and were created. How do you think Jehovah feels about a person who worships or seeks the help of someone who has died? The picture caption reads, The truth about death sets us free from customs that displease Jehovah. Point 5. The truth about death comforts us. Many people have been taught that when they die, they will suffer as a result of their past actions. But it comforts us to know that no one suffers after death, not even someone who has done very bad things. Romans 6-7 says, for the one who has died has been acquitted from his sin. If, as we read in the Bible, death acquits or releases a person from sin, do you think anyone who has died is suffering because of past mistakes? The more we get to know Jehovah, the more we realize that he would never allow the dead to suffer. Deuteronomy 32.4 says, The rock Perfect is his activity, for all his ways are justice, a God of faithfulness who is never unjust, righteous and upright is he. 1 John 4, 8 says, Whoever does not love has not come to know God, because God is love. Would a God with the qualities mentioned in these verses ever approve of tormenting those who have died? Do you find the truth about death to be comforting? Why? Some people say, I'm afraid of what will happen to me when I die. What comforting Bible verses could you share? Summary When a person dies, his life ends. The dead do not suffer, nor can they harm the living. Review. What happens when we die? How does the truth about death benefit us? How does the truth about death comfort us? Goal. Try to memorize one scripture from this lesson so that you can explain the condition of the dead. Set other goals. Explore. 
see what the word soul really means in the Bible. Read the web article, What is the Soul? Find out if God uses hell to punish the wicked. It never exist. The Bible tells us God is love. Would a loving God command that sinners be tormented, not just for minutes, but for all eternity? Watch the video, Is Hell a Real Place of Torment? Do we ever need to be afraid of the dead? Read the brochure, Spirits of the Dead, Can They Help You or Harm You? Do they really exist? Find out how a man was comforted when he learned the truth about what happens when we die. Read, I was impressed by the Bible's clear, logical answers. In the Watchtower, February 1st, 2015. End of Lesson 29